video for you. They've been asking me to do a video where we decorate a room, so I've got a bathroom in my bag right now, and we're going to try to really quickly decorate it. Um, you can always ask me questions in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them for you. Also, please like and subscribe. It means the world to me. And let's go. We're going to roll down through my bag and find a bathtub, and that's going to be the first thing we'll place. And we might want to put it about here, I would say. And it's going to be a duo tub situation so that two people can take a bath at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and put those in. And then you can push control. And control allows you to move things around. So that way you can move it. If you didn't quite like where it ended up, you can move it a little to the right or left or front or back. Uh, we're going to move this one over just a little bit kind of line it up that way see how we like that okay that looks pretty good now we've got our two tubs we're gonna maybe go ahead and put in some other furniture we will put in a sink cabinet over here and another one over here so that way we've got the duo going on it's you know his and his hers and hers his and hers whatever you've got going for you uh, you want to have a place now I'm going to go ahead and put a light fixture up you might prefer to have two light fixtures but we'll have a grid on the ceiling so we can push number two and go for the middle of the grid and that puts our light fixture in the center of the room so move it around later do whatever you want with it but right now you've got a light fixture if I push control again, the grid's going to go away. Now I'm going to show you another little trick. When you put a wall cabinet up on the wall, sometimes it's high enough that you won't be able to put things on top of it. I thought you couldn't put things on top of it, but I kind of played around with it, and I learned that you can. So what I do, because you can move things that have things already on top of them, you can place it on the wall lower so that you can reach it. That way, I can pick out a plant that I'd like to place on it, and um, perhaps I'd like to put a candle on it. So I can place a candle, and I can uh, place a plant. Then I can push control so my grid comes back, and I have the ability to move things. I'm going to line this up over the sink, and I'll line it up kind of with the top of the um, window, sort of, just about there. And then we've got one up and we can put another one up over here. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll put it down low first. You can also climb up on something and reach the tops of these to decorate them. I just thought I would show you this little trick, but you can certainly climb up on uh, other furniture and try to get to it and do it that way. Or you can decorate it down low where you can reach it and then move it into place after you've got the decorations on top of it. I think when you're first placing it, it works great to go ahead and decorate it first and then put it up. And then if you've already got everything up and you decide, oh, I need something else on top of there, you know, that's a good time to bring in a couple of trunks or a coffee table to stand on. Then you can get up there. Another thing you might like in your bathroom is perhaps some sort of a um, vanity where you could sit down, put on your makeup, that kind of thing. So you might want to do that. And um, you can make these things on your workbench. So on the workbench, you could make a mirror. This is a capital city chic mirror. And I would put it there. And then you can make um, a capital chic, it's sort of a base cabinet type item. But instead of using it that way, I'd like to turn it and use it more like a desk so that you've got the mirror above it. And then that way you've got a little bit of a vanity. And the next thing that you can do is also add a chair to the vanity. So I've got a chair in my bag and I'm going to turn that put it there. Then later, you're going to put some bottles, um, maybe some perfume, things like that, on your actual vanity table, and it'll look a lot more like a vanity. But for the purposes of going as fast as we can in this video, we won't be doing that right this second. The other thing you are going to want to do is put your necessary in. 
And because you have to buy your toilets from Zeki in his secret store, you have to do a lot of work uh, going out and grinding and cutting trees and mining and do gardening and whatever you like to do to earn gold and then sink your gold into an item like the toilet. And you don't really want to hide it completely away because, you know, you took a lot of time to do that. So I like to kind of uh, put it behind the wall here where it doesn't show from the other room. But when you walk into the room, you can actually see it, you know, a little bit of pride of place there. The other thing that you might want to do is put in some rugs. So when you, uh, mine are on five and six on my bar, when you push number five, you're going to get a rug on your mouse. You can move it around. As long as the line is yellow, it will place. If it's red, it will not place. So you can move that around until you've got it where you want it and place your rug. If you misplace it, pick it back up move it to where you want it, and put it into place. It's just that easy. That's one of the great things about this game. It's just awesome. You can do so many different things. Okay, so how about um, a couple of candles where you're taking your bath? Maybe that would be nice. You want to add some ambience and, um, you know, some indirect lighting, and there's times you might want to turn your overhead light off and just have your candle slit. So there you go. You've got a couple of candles above your medicine cabinets and a couple of cabinets on your tub. And you can hit control and get out of that. And you can go over and turn your light off if you so choose and just have candlelight. It just makes for kind of nice. And the other thing you might want is um, some furniture that would hold things that are extra like towels and soap and things like that. So you can go to your workbench and make various bookshelves that you like and go ahead and put them against a wall. Kind of makes for a neat little area there. And um, then, you know, you might even want artwork and things like that. You could take your little circular mirror and put it in that indentation. And you might want to plant. Plants thrive in the bathroom, right? They like the moisture. So you can put a little plant right there um, just to add some interest to it. You might want to place little rugs in front of your vanities, uh, keep your tootsies warm in the morning, and you can do that too. So there's just so many things that you can do to make a beautiful bathroom. If you'd like to have another storage option, you can put a cabinet over here. And then later, you might want to place some things in it or on it. I've got a bottle that might look like a nice bottle of, um, you know, shampoo, in those days in paleo or body wash or well, wine, if you so prefer, <laughs> when you're in the tub. So you can place it and it just makes things more personal. The fact that you can actually place some things in these cabinets um, to give it a little bit of look. So it, you know, it, it blends in. It looks like you cared. It looks like you placed some items um, to add interest. So it, you can do that throughout your house and it just sort of pulls everything together in the long run. But there you kind of have an idea of what it's like to have a bathroom in a bag. Another thing you might want is some ambient lighting over where you're going to be putting on your makeup. So I've gone to my workbench and I made this light and you can have it on or you can have it off. You can turn it off with the off key. So there you go. You've got the cutest little bathroom for two people that you can even imagine and you know if you had everything ready in advance like I did it it took five minutes to pull it together but um, one thing I will tell you is that you can make all the furniture in this game every time you learn a recipe and make it you will then learn more recipes in that set because it's called inspiration and so you will learn those recipes for free and get to make more things. The only thing not available to make yourself in the game is uh, bathroom things, toilets and tubs. So toilets and tubs and sinks come from Zeki in his secret store. And you'll learn about the secret store as you get to know Zeki. So he's one of the first characters you want to go meet in the game. Also, um, he sells rugs for the floor. 
and he sells artwork for on the walls. And so you definitely have to get those things from him as well. But everything else that's furniture, you will make on your workbench. In my master bedroom, you can see all of this furniture, um, the desk and chair, the bookshelves, um, you know, the actual wardrobes, the pantry, the bed. Um, some of the art on the wall, like the abstract art piece, that was all made on my workbench. And then if you want to change the color, you can color them on your modification bench. And so then you can put these kind of things together. But the actual tubs and toilets, rugs and artwork come from Ziki. So uh, he's got a lot of kind of fun stuff in his secret store. But I will come back and show you this bathroom at a later date when I have finished really doing it up. But for now, this is a basic bathroom that we did in five minutes, and it's cute as a button. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of how you can decorate your home and the knowledge to be able to use your keyboard and your mouse to accomplish these things in the Paleo game. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and, and uh, please leave me a comment below and please like this video. It helps me more than you know. I'm just starting out and every one of you means the world to me. I'll try to answer your questions. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.